uh, move through to probably one of the most iconic Blue Coat shows of late, uh, 2014, Tilt. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's many people in the high school bando world that have not seen that show. Love that show. Great show. Just like a universal concept, like everybody gets it portrayed super well uh, from a design standpoint, just integrated throughout the show in any way possible. Um, but again, back in a section leader role, that summer seemed like it was just, from an outside perspective, a lot of fun to be involved in that production. Yeah, I think, especially the design process, the design process was was really fun. Um, John Vanderkoff and Jim Moore and Mike Fanning did a great job of putting the whole thing together. Um, they were really, really hands-on. They didn't, they weren't just the typical, let's give you some dot sheets and let's just try and make it happen and hope, hope for the best. You know, They were really good about coming out a lot, being very hands-on, you know, try version F, you know, let's go through A through F, um, see if that works. And if not, we're going to try out version G tomorrow, you know, just stuff like that. So they were great. They were, they did a really good job in terms of the, the drum line and whatnot. It was a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of personalities. It was definitely a challenge for sure, as any summer is. But it was, again, a collective effort to be able to get through the summer and, and be as good as we were at the end. Um, again, one of the more intimidating seasons I've ever had to march. You know, again, with Ruel being a very experienced um, member with the Blue Coats in general and being a really good musician. Tommy Rome, who again, very good musician, uh, very experienced with the drum corps. It, w- it was hard. It was very hard. And I almost felt like, I'll admit this for sure, like I definitely wasn't the best section leader, but the guidance of them to helping me out and then the support of everyone else really helped the summer be what it was, which was fun. Yeah, that was a great show. Uh, Jason was in there with you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, Ollie, who marched with me at Crown in 2010, which is crazy to think about <laughs> that Ollie marched Blue Coats in 09 and then Crown with me no, and then uh, 2014 Glassman. with you. Or yeah, Glassman, Glassman in 09. 09. Then he marched Crown with me and then 2014 Blue Coats with you. Dude did so much drum corps. Uh, yeah. Love that guy. He was actually my seat partner in 2010 too. But uh, yeah, I'm also randomly tagged in some 2014 Blue Coats snare line picture. <laughs> because somebody meant to tag Evan Espanto, right. but tagged me instead. And I was like, oh, sweet. <laughs> Where's my medal at? <laughs> right? That's the easiest song in my life. Yeah. Um, All uh, the glory. None of the work. To me, what, what always struck me about 2014, the, the Blue Coats drum line from that year, was the book just seemed amazing. Like the features, like the writing for the drum features in that show just seemed like any drummer's like dream. Yeah. Everything about that book was super comfy and buttery to play. The only gripe I had about it was the, a cello rondo hand to hand flams in the drum break. That was it. That was super hard, very difficult to get to actually a cell, but uh, everything else before and after was Fantastic. I think there was one point, too, where I was just playing double stops, just trying to figure <laughs> it out and maybe maybe try and throw some Muller in there to to fake the accents. But, hey, you got to do what you yeah, got to do. Exactly. You know, it. I didn't fall out of the sound, so there it was. That's what matters. <laughs> Plays the right rhythms. That's what matters. Were, yeah. you on ups or, were you on ups or downs on the split? I was on the downs, for sure. Okay, because there's nine of you guys, right? Yeah. All right, so all right, that makes sense. I had the easy stuff. And again, speculation, it was good on finals night. The mics make it sound bad. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> I've had way too many people tell me, hey, was that good or bad? It sounded bad on the recording. 